Yo, it's Alvi. Happy Pokemon Day, everyone. And welcome to my long-awaited collection room tour video. I've literally been hyping up this video all week, and we finally made it. I honestly cannot wait to show you all my collection. But before we jump into it, I do want to mention that I've been collecting for a really long time. And this took me years and years to collect. So I am beyond humbled to not only be able to have the items that I've collected over the years, but to have this space as well. This honestly has always been a dream of mine and now that it's a reality, I am extremely thankful. But I think that's enough dilly dally. So I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Happy Pokemon day everyone. So now beyond this door lies my collection. So now I very humbly welcome you in. So now that you've seen an overview of the entire room, let's go into more detail. Starting behind the door, I have this Pikachu backpack, which is my trusty backpack, which I take everywhere I go whenever I need it. And then if I move over this way, move the camera down here, you'll see this little guy right here. I use him as a doorstop. <laughs> and then right above the door, I have my Amiibo Pokemon collection. I put two trainers from the Smash series in each side to kind of emulate two teams. So in your opinion, in a Pokemon battle, which trainer would you think would win? Gen 1 versus other. I don't know. Seems pretty even to me. Although Gen 1 has Mewtwo, so I don't know. So moving on to the left side of the room, I have this little magazine rack which has like some comics and just little booklets, uh, play guides. So whenever I have uh, guests over and they want to just lounge and read some comics or even a Pokemon cookbook they want some ideas to cook they can do that still even have some sealed stuff like this play guide from the sword and shield game still even have this illustration collection booklet that came in with the generations uh, box for the Pokemon cards and then this sealed Loteria like I said this uh, Pokemon cookbook right here Get some cool ideas. This um, wrestling comic which is pretty nice too. And then just uh, some Deadpool comics. Deadpool, X Force, Spider Man comics. This Street Fighter comic is pretty cool. And then, of course, these old school Pokemon comics. Some Pikachu ones. More Deadpool comics, some ETB booklets. There's a lot of them in here. The Super Mario Maker booklet that came in with the Wii U game, I believe. And then just the instructional booklet for my Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. Oh, my EDC stuff. This little booklet for the 20th anniversary. And this Russia FIFA World Cup Panini booklet that I was supposed to do a video for that just never did. But yeah, that's my little magazine rack with my comics and you're welcome to have a read whenever you come through. So moving on, I have my curtain right here which honestly fits perfectly with the room. And then on the left side I have these manga style frames with uh, some of uh, my favorite anime which is uh, Dragon Ball and then uh, Super Campeones which is an uh, anime that I grew up watching as a kid. Going down, you'll see my little gaming couch, which is honestly beautiful. Got the homie Dashi plushie right there on the left side, along with the little Coca-Cola bottle cap. Yeah, I think it's from Funko, and it's super nice. And then uh, we got Snorlax on the right, chilling. Above that is uh, one of my favorite boxes from the TCG, Pikachu and EVGX collection box. And then in front of it, we have that little plushie uh, Squirtle. To the left of that, my other favorite uh, box, which is the Raichu Shiny Legends GX box collection. Uh, Bulbasaur in front of it. And then this beautiful Shenron. I think it's supposed to be a, like a blanket, but I just use it right there on top of the couch to display it. I think I did a good job. 
All right, and then moving on to the right side of the room, it's gonna start to get even juicier now. As you can see, I have this amazing, uh, it's not even a poster, it's actually a puzzle. And then right next to it, I have this, um, it's like a canvas material, Dragon Ball frame. So that's pretty cool right there. And then down here, I have my Shenron 10 inch Funimation 2020 exclusive, glows in the dark. And then uh, my amazing Deadpool plush right there. And then moving down here, I have the mega Pikachu Funko Pop. Of course, gotta have that hand sanitizer on deck. So moving down, I have my small but very amazing manga collection right here. So the top shelf is pretty much Viz Media. Starting off on the left side, we have my Junji Ito collection right here. And I saw it very fitting since it is like a horror manga. The Demogorgon from Stranger Things. I thought it went very well right next to it, so I put that right there. After Hours Complete series, uh, only three volumes, but I really like it because it's like an EDM style manga, so it's really cool. Uh, Komi Can Communicate, just the first volume. I haven't even read this book, but a friend at the library recommended it. So these are very old Legend of Zelda books that I had, so I still have them, I guess. Uh, one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga books when we went to, uh, I think it was a pre-release event. Black Torch Complete Series, only five volumes, which I really enjoy. After the first volume, I was completely hooked and I had to get the rest and i really really enjoyed it mewtwo strikes back this is one of the newest uh, mangas that i got and then austria lost in space also complete and persona 5 which i got as a gift um but i haven't read it i know it's a video game but i still remember that and then moving down here it's my uh gantz little shrine section besides that uh manga characters book uh learning how to draw I don't know, like manga characters and stuff my favorite manga i think of all time is gantz uh i've only read up to Volume 3, but this is the Omnibus. So Volume 4 and Volume 5 I haven't read yet, so they're still sealed. And uh, I know more volumes are still coming out, so I've already pre-ordered 6 and 7, so those are going to come whenever they release. And then this is the sequel to Gantz, which is Gantz G. It's alright, but it's not as good as the original. And then I saw it fitting to add this Venom Pool right here to go along with the little Gantz shrine. And this is not Gantz, but it's by the same creator. It's fairly a new manga still, so... And then just two little Japanese books right here. And moving down here, let me get close and personal. I have my uh, T-Rex Funko Pop right next to this little plant right there. And then I have my Trilogy VHS collection, which is pretty neat, if I do say so myself. And then right next to it, I have the Tokyo Ghoul manga box set, which opens up like that. And it has all the volumes in there. I know Tokyo Ghoul Re came out recently. I haven't picked it up yet, but I'm planning to get it. So moving on, we've made it to this section of the room. Starting off with my 10 inch Pokemon collection up here. Alongside my Dragon Ball collection. Very small variety, but these are the ones that I just like the most. Uh, and I want to just have them out for display. But now, I cannot wait to show you all each and every single one of these cubes they're all like little shrines so let's get into it starting off with my dragon ball shrine of course we got the hot topic exclusive goku funko pop right here and then of course the capsule corp capsule keychain this other funko exclusive box that has five exclusive items in here so that's pretty cool and then of course i have my t-shirt collection all in box still figured i have something from the trading card game as well and this sun goku card just goes perfectly with the little shrine and then also these two comics full color this one's the saiyan arc and then this one's the frieza arc which honestly brings me back so much nostalgia reading through them. So yeah, happy I got these. Moving on to my next cube. We have my little team of Pikachu shrine right here. we got the tin i hope the camera does it justice but yeah i have two of these tins right here uh on top of that 
two beautiful Pikachu and Zekrom GX cards. I run this deck myself, so I'm very, very happy to have these in my collection. On the walls itself, I have a few booster packs and a blister pack right here, along with the dollar store packs still unopened. Also have this Japanese booster box, beautiful condition. And of course, ah, the beautiful Team Up Elite Trainer box. So happy I still have this in my collection. Behind that, I have this little Japanese uh, piggy bank, the little Pikachu edition. Also have the Funko Pop, this little Pikachu right here. And then under that is this really, really old golden card, limited edition, gold plated card. Oh, I didn't even show this uh, deck box it's right here too, this Pikachu deck box. It's kind of just serving as a little stand for the booster box itself. So, yeah. And moving on, we got my little Dunder Mifflin Shrine right here. Got the uh, Golden Face Funko Pop. Under that is my uh, Michael Scott Pop. These are uh, the office playing cards. I love playing poker, so I'm really happy to have these in my collection. And the little box is freaking cool as well, so. Got Pam's little teapot right here. This is so cool, I'm so happy to have this. Uh, and it sits right under this little um, magnet from the office characters right there, so yeah. And then behind that, we got the t-shirt exclusive Funko Pop, uh, Dwight, with the Lunder Mifflin hat on the top. You got this little mystery mini, uh, I believe it's from Funko. Yeah, it's from Funko. Uh, that's, those are all the ones that you could get. Uh, it's still sealed, so I don't know if I'll open it. But it sits right on top of the DVD collection right there. Netflix doesn't have The Office anymore, so I gotta resort to the DVDs to watch the show again. Also, I have this little cool Zen Garden with Moe's and Dwight, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, the bobblehead. And then moving down here, we're gonna start with my Pikachu section. This whole middle section is pretty much dedicated to Pikachu. Starting off with the detective himself, Detective Pikachu. You got the video game right here for the 3DS still in its shrink wrap. Happy to have this in the collection. And then under that, we have the Detective Pikachu collector's chest. This one is already open, but I am looking to get a sealed box. So hopefully soon I pick that up. But yeah, happy to have this too. So moving on, I got the exclusive 7-Eleven Slurpee cup in the orange colorway. So yeah, happy to have this in the collection too. Still sealed too. Speaking about things you could drink with, I got this little hi-hat cafe mug right here and Detective Pikachu sits inside it, just like that. I think that's a cool, very cool display piece like that, just like that, so <laughs> I like that. Of course, we got the, the Blu-ray, watched this many times. The Amiibo, of course. And then right behind that, I got these two 7-Eleven exclusive uh, straws too. At the time, I really didn't want to collect all of them, but now I kind of low-key regret not getting the other ones. I think there was uh, two more, but um, I'm happy I got those. And then right behind it, we got this Charizard. Very, very happy I still have that unopened. And then on the walls, I have the Detective Pikachu case file. And across from that, a few booster packs from the Detective Pikachu movie. And then moving on to the middle middle cube which might could be my favorite uh cube
so starting off with this right off the bat the Japanese exclusive Nintendo 2DS Pikachu oh this is such a beauty I'm so happy to have this in the collection I kind of wish I had picked up the other three because there was a uh, Blastoise Charizard and Venusaur also that came out very very happy to have this in the collection moving on we got the generations full art Pikachu and then the cosmic eclipse uh, Japanese and they sit right under this Pikachu party VHS still in the shrink wrap itself you see the store what do you call this whatever this is absolutely love having this in my collection still it's in perfect condition so love it moving forward let me put sleeping Pikachu right here on the side for now got this uh, manga omnibus edition from the original um, Pokemon Adventures this one is volume 7, 8, and 9 from the original series in just one book. Eventually, I do want to collect them all, but I just picked this one up because it had Pikachu, honestly. And yeah. Moving on to a very, very action-packed cube in here. We got the Pikachu theme deck. Still cannot believe how it skyrocketed in price over the past couple months. But um, yeah, happy to have this in the collection as well. Now. And you bring these three items to the front. We got my original copy, Pokemon Yellow for the Game Boy Color. I am so happy to have this in the collection. One of my biggest grails ever. I hope to have it in complete box with the, with the Game Boy Color box one day. And then it's Japanese counterpart. Counterpart, is that the correct terminology for it? But yeah, I guess I'll open it up for you. I guess we'll take a look inside, right? That's the copy right there alongside the manuals so yeah this one is complete in box Japanese version and then moving on to the newest generation of course Pokemon let's go Pikachu for the switch moving on I got the Target exclusive Funko Pop Pikachu of course now these two exclusive 2DS XLs this one is honestly my favorite and this one is still sealed in box haven't used it, haven't taken it out. And then on the walls, of course, I gotta have some Pikachu blister packs. But there we have the Unbroken Bonds and Darkness Ablaze. And then on the other side, we have a Pikachu Pez dispenser with the Pez still in there. This little cool uh, Pikachu wallet. And then the coin that came in the Battle Academy box, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and then moving on to the next Pikachu themed cube. This is the Vivid Voltage Shrine. Starting off with that beautiful Vivid Voltage Japanese booster box. So happy to have this in the collection, of course. And I have this little uh, Pokemon stand from the 25th anniversary uh, McDonald's Happy Meal thing. Uh, this is just a placeholder because I still need to pull Chunky Pikachu. That's why I just have it like that. It's just like a little placeholder for when I do pull it. So yeah, I got the collector's chest Vivid Voltage. This one I do still have it sealed. So yeah, very cool. And deeper in here, I have, of course, the Elite Trainer box still sealed as well. I've opened a few of these already and still no Chunky Pikachu, but I will keep trying. Behind that, I just have this little Pikachu portfolio with just like different Pikachu arts from different sets. Obviously we have that Funko Pop Pikachu, the flock version from the 2020 Fall Convention. Little angry mode Pikachu. <laughs> and of course I had to get this Pikachu binder for my card collection. This is another Pokebank. It's a little bigger than the other one that I have. Yeah, I had to get this one as well. On the walls we just have Vivid Voltage booster packs still sealed. Okay, and then moving down here, I'm actually going to turn on the light for this one because it's a little too dark. Oh, 
Okay, we got the little Eevee and Pikachu shrine right here. So starting off with the little figure from the Pokebox uh, Pikachu and Eevee collection box. This Pokemon Center exclusive Pikachu socks. I think the tan grayish colorway of the socks go very well with the Eevee. It reminds me of a shiny Eevee. And I think it goes well with the cube, so yeah. Of course, we've got that Funko Flocked Eevee. Once again, sorry about the glare. I'm trying to do my best. Just a couple of cards for the aesthetic look of it. Reverse Hollow and a Japanese Common. Of course, I had to have the Let's Go Eevee still in box as well. Of course, I had to get the tin, the Lunchbox Collection tin. This one is still in the box as well. Got the Let's Play Pokemon theme decks, Eevee and Pikachu. It goes perfectly with the cube. So have those two. And all the way back here, we have the Eevee and Pikachu V tins. Got the little binder. I, I kind of taped it to the wall of the cube alongside these two booster packs from the dollar store. Across from that, I have the Pikachu GX jumbo card from the Pikachu GX and Eevee GX collection box, which is one of my favorite boxes. And then I have this right here, which is honestly one of the best things in my collection pokemon center exclusive this is not for sale I and mean, if you turn it around look at that beauty this is very very exclusive happy to have this in the collection of course and last but not least if i remove this dust ball right at the bottom i have this cool like a little hand towel pikachu in a ev onesie <laughs> super cute And moving on to my little Deadpool shrine right here. Starting off with the little moped Deadpool with a little stand so it could be perfectly in place. And he sits right on top of the Deadpool Pirate Hot Top Exclusive. You've seen this before. One of my favorite pops in my collection. The little chimichanga truck Dorbs. Super cool little chimichanga truck right here. The little Deadpool chef. Take the little right hand right there. He's holding a little chimichanga. <laughs> Speaking about chimichangas, this little mystery surprise chimichanga toy i forget where i got this from i think it was 7-eleven i can't remember but of course i had to have the little pest dispenser as well that one sits on top of the little deadpool thorbs as one of the comics that i have on the walls falls well jumped right into it so yeah i got this little deadpool comic right here i just set it on the side of the wall and then across from that i have another one right here Going deeper into the cube, I have my little, I call it my utility bag. I used to wear this a lot. And it actually comes with a little power bank charger right here. So you could charge your phone whenever you're on the go wearing the utility bag. All the way at the back of the cube, I got the little Slurpee 7-Eleven cups right here with the different straws. And then more Funko products, of course, the t-shirt uh, that comes in this cool little chimichanga truck box. And then the Amazon exclusive Pollos Hermanos Deadpool. And then I also have this cool little Legos Deadpool. Just so the wall wouldn't be so plain, I decided to tape that up right there. So yeah. Okay, moving on to the next cube, which honestly might be the least packed of all my cubes, but it is one of my favorites and it's the Cosmic Eclipse Shrine. So right off the bat, we got the promo from the Small But Mighty Collection Premium Box. Such a beautiful artwork with a Togepi, Cleffa, and Digglybuff. And of course, I have this little Togepi figure. It's so cute and goes perfectly with the little shrine. Moving on, let me move the dive ball out of the way. So happy to have both of these Japanese booster boxes in my collection. Once again, sorry about the glare, but you get the gist. 
of course the cosmic eclipse elite trainer box one of my most favorite sets to open i love the character full art cards that come in here and then all, all the way in the back i have this trainer's toolkit box and this uh, Funko Pop exclusive. I believe it was a GameStop exclusive, so I have that still in box. Not really Cosmic Eclipse, but it goes very well with the tone of the cube, so I decided to put that in the back right there. And then the Small and Mighty Collection keychain, I decided to tape this, the artwork of the box, to the wall of the cube, because it goes perfectly right next to the figure right there. So, yeah. Okay, and then moving down to the final section, of the cube shelf now this is my little sun and moon shrine right here starting off with this little still valley figure right here type no is one of my favorite pokemons and i got this uh figure collection for uh, i believe it was christmas so happy to have this in my collection still moving on to my first 3ds this was my 3ds when x and y came out and then i used it for sun and moon before i got my uh 2ds pokeball edition so still have it in my collection right behind that i have my little uh booklet from the necrozma and uh, i forget what it's called but it's the collector's chest edition booklet and I just uh, decided to fill it up with Sun and Moon, Pokemon, you got the Mimikyu right there, Gladion, Decidueye, Professor Kakui, and then one of my favorite, Alolan Vulpix. So yeah, as you can see, we got the Sun and Moon ETB boxes. On top of that, I have this little cool Tommy figure, Premier Ball, still sealed. This one contains Darkrai inside of it. And then on the other side, Great Ball, to uh, Tommy figure still sealed. And as you can see right there, this one has the Mew inside of it. And then of course, to represent the ETB boxes and the shrine itself, I had to put the big boys, Solgaleo and Lunala, full art displayed on the back, on top of their corresponding ETBs, which will show still in box, sealed, and the Lunala ETB. Perfect condition still sealed and in the very back we have that exclusive sun and moon collector's edition box honestly when the game first came out and i went to pick up my pre-order and i saw that this was available i had to pick it up i'm a complete sucker when pokemon does this kind of stuff so i'm so happy to have this in my collection and it's honestly beautiful so yeah happy to have that in the collection so moving on Another section that is very minimal, but I love it the way it is, is my little Yu-Gi-Oh shrine. Right up front, I have the Legendary Duelist Season 1 and Season 2 collection. On top of that, Seto Kaiba on the left and then dark magician girl on the right and on the walls dark magician and blue eyes white dragon in the jumbo cards and then right in the middle right here back when we used to play competitive dueling when we went to uh, the world championship in long beach 2010 this is 11 years ago <laughs> but i still have like my attendee badge and then my uh my duels that we recorded right there konami official card my entry number for the tournament and then my live points for my duels and then my token <laughs> little trip down memory lane wyatt if you're watching this alf if you're watching this comment down below how amazing was that day how fun was that day and then right in the back i have that golden sarcophagus box that came in with some uh legendary decks all the way in the back that seal of Ori calculus it came with the joy no not the joy it came with that yugi collection box i can't remember what it is like i said very very minimalistic cube but honestly it just looks perfect the way it is so i love it and i'm happy to have those in the collection as well so moving on we finally made it to the last portion of the cube shelf right off the bat we have that flocked Funko Pop Bulbasaur 2020 Spring Convention exclusive that recently released box that uh, McDonald's came out with for the 25th anniversary and then my small but beautiful Pokemon VHS collection 
All of them have their own um, sealed cases. So very happy I have these. These will never get damaged and yeah. And then in the very back, I have the little Pikachu catch em game. It's honestly a very fun board game to play with your friends. So who knows, maybe I'll, I'll open it one day and then we'll make a, make a video out of it, have some fun with it, so yeah. And there we have it, the complete cube shelf in detail. If there's certain items in the cube shelf that you still want me to go over further into detail, then let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely try to do that for you guys. So bear with me, we're close to the end of the game room, so let's go. Okay, so moving on to this side of the room, I got three of my favorite uh, jumbo cards right here. Type of Coco GX, Zero Aura GX, and Pikachu GX. And I love the way I frame them and going up and down like this. Uh, it just goes well with my other frame stuff, like this little uh, DIY thing I did with the starters from Kanto starters, Kanto starters. And then my small pins collection with my coin collection as well, which I actually super glued a thumbtack to the back of it to make it into a pin. So, yeah. So moving on to my TV stand shelf. Before I get to the stuff at the top, let's go through the cubes. Starting with the first cube right here is my little Pokemon game section. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon X and Y, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, um, Sun and Moon, and Ultra Sun and Moon. And on top of that, I got Soul Silver and both white versions. Sword and Shield, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and then uh, Super Smash. I know it's not Pokemon, but it has a. Uh, Pikachu in the cover, so I was like, ah, it goes well right here. <laughs> and then under that, my little Galar region starters figurine right there. And then my 2DS XL right here. And just to take it out of the protective case, I just wanted to leave it in there. It's still in here. Yeah. Honestly, my favorite 2DS XL. So yeah. Got that in the collection with this little Charizard keychain. And then of course my Nintendo Switch Lite, which I use to um, play my Sword and Shield. I got the yellow version. Happy to have that. Since I had doubles of these, I decided to put them in the little protective case. And then right all the way in the back, the Generations Premium Collection box. That I just use it for storage and it's like back there for display. Okay, moving down here, I have my little soon to be old school uh, consoles, Nintendo consoles. Like we have the Wii and the Wii U right there in the back and then the GameCube. Coming more down, I have a little miscellaneous uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, more games section. My favorite 360 game of all time, Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Pokemon Tournament, Super Smash for the Wii U. Uh, super happy to still have this in my collection. Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Super Mario Strikers, The Reckoning WWE 1 and 2. And then uh, Hit and Run, which is honestly probably my favorite game for the GameCube. So much fun. Sonic Mania and Super Bomberman for the Switch. Uh, Legend of Korra, Blu-ray, uh, anime movie, Elf, no, uh, Polar Express, uh, Eddie Guerrero, WWE film, Avatar The Last Airbender, and Stranger Things uh, DVD. And back there, I have this Pikachu backpack, which I just use to store cables and uh, like little bags that I use for uh, my games and stuff. All the way at the bottom right here in this corner, I just have my uh, chest collection tins. And they all have something different inside of them. So like this one has my... Uh, Extra keychains, some dice, extra figures, and extra coins. And yeah. All of them have something different. Next to that is my little board games collection. We got Catan and then my uh, Monopoly Pokemon box down there. Right above that, we have my little security cameras box right there alongside my little blu-ray player right there under that my little shrine to uh the nintendo classic this controller believe it or not is my original controller since the early 90s and then we have the classic mini right there next to uh the super mario 30th anniversary amiibo
Next to that, I have my little Sonic shrine right there. A little Sonic Amiibo figure right here. And then the, um, the Sega Genesis cartridge. Happy to still have that in the collection. And then all the way back there is the 8-bit Ryu. Moving on to the final cube shelf right here. My little Super Nintendo shrine, which I still have my original uh, Super Mario World cartridge for the Super Nintendo. We got the mini right there. Diddy Kong Amiibo because Donkey Kong Country, I played religiously on the Super Nintendo when I was growing up. And then just back there to give it a little aesthetic look to the whole cube. We got the green Yoshi in the front leading the pack. Behind them, it's the pink one and the blue one. And then on top of that is just the Xbox One. And then moving up, we have my 50 inch TV right here, smart TV. Behind that, I have uh, some Pikachu stuff, this Switch controller, and then that Champions Path Elite Trainer box back there, still sealed. Next right here, we have Vegeta and Goku, little chibi. I forget what they were called, they're little uh, figures right there. We got my Zodiac Freddy Funko and Pikachu sitting right on top of him. Moving up, we have my headset, so when I merc kids online, and then my Pokemon Go Plus, Pokeball Plus. Whew. And we finally made it to the very last part of the collection room tour, so let's go. Starting in this left corner right here, I have my little Game of Thrones shrine right here with the three dragons on top of the switch box. Uh, right next to it, got the book series one through five. And then on top of that, Daenerys Funko Pop and the Game of Thrones playing cards set right there. All being washed over by Arya Stark herself next to House Stark Sigil right there, the flag banner or whatever it is yeah moving on to my little scout pilgrim shrine right here we got the toys r us exclusive and then the one through six volumes of the comic and then this cool steel case book with the blu-ray right there so cool moving on my favorite amiibo the samus japanese sitting on top of the mega yarn yoshi and then next to that i have my Little Amiibo, uh, Super Mario display thing, uh, the Metroid, Charizard, Pikachu, Samus, Samus again, Ryu, Mega Man, and then right all the way at the bottom behind right there is the homie Blethers, kind of hiding from everyone since he is uh, an owl, and then the homie Detective Pikachu right there. And in front of it, I just have that um, Game & Watch Super Mario. I thought it went super well in front of the Amiibo Super Mario display, so above that, we got the Pokemon Center exclusive red, the Nendroid figure. And then on top of that, my beautiful Shining Legends mat framed that I did myself and honestly came out so freaking amazing. I love it. Moving on, I have the three starters from generation one, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Right under that is their big papas in card form. We got Venusaur V, Charizard, and then Blastoise GX tag team with Piplup is the only Blastoise I have in my collection right now. So that's why he is going to have to do. And then on top of that, this little trio of Pokeballs uh, box set. And right on top of that is the Battle Academy box uh, next to this little Charizard Y figure right there. Next to that is just my little Pikachu. Um, what's this called? Beads little necklace thing that I used in uh, EDC Vegas and just a Squirtle pest dispenser right there. So alongside the front part of the entire shelf, you'll notice my handheld collection right there. We got my Nintendo Switch. We got my Game Boy Advance right here. Let me see if I can turn it on. Ah. There we go. I have the uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater game right there. I started playing it just because uh, that Tony Hawk, I think, got announced. The new new game coming out. This is not the original Game Boy I grew up with, but shout out to my boy Andy from Retro Pocket. Uh, he hooked me up with this beautiful Game Boy, and it's uh, beautiful. And I was playing uh, Silver. So yes, shout out to my boy Andy from Retro Pocket. Follow his IG, he does amazing, amazing work. And he's doing a big, big giveaway when he reaches 2,000 followers. So yes, follow my boy.
Bro, so nostalgic. Oh my god, so beautiful. Uh, moving on, <laughs> Nintendo SP right here. Let's turn it on as well. Uh. Bro, the nostalgia vibes. It doesn't even have a game on. <laughs> But the nostalgia, the nostalgia. And then, of course, my Nintendo DS Lite. Let's see if I could turn it on. Oh, there we go. And I haven't used this in so long that it's asking me to adjust the settings and stuff. But um, I know I had Pokemon Black 2. So yeah, but still working condition. So happy I still have that in my collection. Moving on, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Red. And Pokemon Emerald version. Got this giant Pokeball right here. And we finally made it to the door again. So yeah. there we have it the entire collection room tour in detail oh before i forget just in case someone was curious as to what's in the closet i just have my dragon ball funko pop collection and other pops back there it goes all the way to the back as well so yeah some clothes down here i have like my little storage bins have my chair, my little table, and a little light for when I do record. This is my to-go bag for uh, my TCG, whenever we play TCG. Uh, more binders right there for my collection. So let me know if you, if you guys wanna see that more into detail. I believe this is Appa in here. Got some TCG products in there, some Mario bag, and then more Amiibos all the way down there. I'll go into detail if you guys want to see what's in there, but yeah. And then on the other side, it's a mess, but I have like uh, bins with uh, my green screen and just like camera equipment and uh, like bags and stuff. But I have this, the most important thing, it's like this. Oh no. Okay. Is like a <laughs> cushion that I use sometimes for like to sit on the floor, but that's about it. So yeah, that is gonna be the collection room tour in its entirety in detail. This has always been a dream of mine ever since I was a little kid to have my own collection room or game room. And especially like this with all my favorite stuff, the way I like to arrange it and display it. I am so, so thankful. And yeah, let me know what your favorite part of my collection is. Let me know if you have some of the stuff that I own as well. Let me know if you have any ideas for what I should add to the wall, what kind of plushies I should add to the couch. If you have any feedback, uh, it will be greatly appreciated. I've been talking way too much now, so let's end the video here. So if you enjoyed it as much as I did, please don't forget to like the video. Share with your fellow Pokemon collectors or video game collectors or manga collectors or weebs or anything that has to do with my collection room. Happy Pokemon Day, everybody. I hope 
you guys had an amazing time. Check out other videos from the channel. Consider subscribing, it's free. But with all that being said, I thank you so much for taking the time out of your valuable day to watch my video. My name is Alvi, and until next one, internet, keep smiling.